Hello, it's Dan Webbs here. I'm back in the studio at St Anne's Old Links Golf Club and I'm here today to do a little review. It's going to be a nice, honest review of the new TaylorMade M3 driver. Yes, this is the one with the twisty face. Sure enough, the toe has been pulled back, the heel has been pulled back, and the idea is to give you less dispersion on your off-centre strikes. So I'm going to come to that in a little while. As you can see from this little image, the crown has got more carbon in it. There is a slightly thinner top edge of the, the um, silver look this time rather than white in the previous M models. The sole has got the uh, multi uh, weight distribution area. Today you can see I've got the weight set with weight towards the back for a little bit high and towards the heel to help me get that draw. And I'll explain that why that position in a second. We've got the dots on the face, going to use HMT. Hammerhead technology in this club. Again, that is for uh, less um, inconsistent numbers from across the face. All drivers have pretty much got the same COR, so they can come off at the same speed. No driver specifically will help you hit the ball better. That's partly down to your swing, but also making sure you've got a correctly fitted driver. So if we get the right launch and spin par parameters, with any driver, whether it's today's model or five years ago, we should get the right numbers. And that's going to be the right launch and spin for you and your swing. So one thing I've got to emphasize, if you're looking to watch, you're watching this video because you're thinking about buying a new driver, maybe you're just looking to learn about some product, well hopefully this will give you a bit of education, nice and short, on why it's important to be custom fitted. So yes, by all means, pop down, see me or any of the team at the Academy, head over to your own local PGA Pro, spend some time with the experts. But basically what we're looking for, every driver has to be swung correctly to you. If we can get a launch angle for me about 14, 15 degrees, and if we can get the spin down to around 2000, it should give us our optimum. For what? For me, for my swing speed. Again, for other swing speeds that might be different. So I'm going to hit a couple of shots with it in a second, see whether the twist face works. Like I say, we're going to look at how the uh, dispersion is affected by that new technology. And also understand a little bit about whether or not a £429 investment is maybe worthwhile or not. Okay, so let's give it a little whack. I think it's very important to use, when you're having a fitting or testing any products out, use the ball you play. So if you can, if you can get the opportunity to use the ball you play at fitting, either take your own with you or depending on the fitting centre, they should have the ball available for you to get fit with. So this ball I'm playing at the moment is a TP5. This is a brand new ball straight out of the box. Let's give it a little whack. So I'm going to hit just a handful of shots and I'm going to give you what my opinion on the product is. First of all, as I look down at the club, I've got this set at 9 degrees, uh, 9.5 degrees and standard loft. No changes to the loft sleeve. There is lots of changes available and again you can look into that and we can answer any questions if you want to uh, contact me and message me. But this is 9.5. The first impression when I set up this club is the face sits open. Okay, and what that, I think that's because the toes pull back, it gives me that feeling. When I see the face sitting open, my, my real bad shot is left, so it gives me a bit of confidence, but I've then also moved the weight back into the heel just to help, if it is a bit open, just to help me get that draw if I need it. Okay, the shaft, I've got the tenth size shaft in it, nice and stiff, uh, just, well, it's just stiff to be fair. Let's give it a hit, tell you a bit about how it feels. Okay, so that was a nice strike, it's definitely drawing, possibly a little bit toey just from the numbers I'm seeing or the flight I'm seeing on the screen. It's turning over left, carried 240, running out to 256. Now we've got to remember that went probably 10, 15 yards left. We'll look at the strike in a minute, but that could have been partly down to me and my swing. It felt like I hung back a little bit and the club face rotated a bit more than I'd like. If I could maybe, let's see if I can maybe get a strike a little bit more towards the heel this time and see how that affects the ball flight. So like I say again, I can see that face does look a little bit open. Sure enough, I managed to draw it though. Okay, that was a good hit. Again, maybe a bit more healy, I don't know. Cutting that time a fraction. Again, 240 carry and 264 total. Last one. As you can see, the dispersion is pretty standard for me. Um, I'm looking for a driver that I can keep in play. I'm looking for a driver that I can get a good distance out of. This looks nice. Set up to the ball. Let's give it a whack. Okay, so again, three shots that I would say are pretty average for me. One straight, one left, one a little bit right. Carry pretty consistent on each of them. 240 yards in the air, 260 total. Is this club long? Well, it could be if I get the right launch spin and the, and the swing speed up. Yeah, could well be. Is it accurate? Well, we'll have a little look. Let's, uh, let's pop over to the computer and have a little look at some of the numbers. So, just going into the numbers here, I'm going to have a look at them in total. Okay, so ball speed, 143 mile an hour ball speed, 
Um, club head speed 100 miles an hour up to 102. That's about average for me. I wouldn't mind my ball speed getting up. It's early season, need to do a bit of work on my game, but hopefully that'll happen. Um, spin rate was 2.2. We mentioned that's something I'm looking for around that spin rate. Launch angle average at 13.5, which is pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. What I'm interested to do is to see where I was striking it. And as you can see, each of the strikes here are towards the toe. Um, <laughs> and, and interestingly, that two of the shots that were off the toe didn't turn over too much right to left. So there is some truth in this slightly off centre impact. By the way, if you can see the impact positions there, they're only just off centre. If it's massively off centre, I would expect a big movement. Quite happy with them numbers though. Let's have a look at the average. So carry distance 242 average, total 262. It's not long, but that's partly down to me, I'm sure. My swing was pretty solid looking at these numbers here. Um, yeah, I quite like that. Well, that's quite interesting. Yes, I've hit it nicely. Yes, my swing speed was a little bit around the 100 mile an hour mark. My ball speed was a little bit low. This is my first period of time with this club. In my opinion, for me, that slightly off-centre strike was straightened up, definitely. If I wanted to get a bit more distance, I'd probably drop my spin down a little bit. Be careful if you do drop your spin down, because that's going to lose accuracy. The heavy toe shot, the one that was more off-centre, did move further to the left. So remember, if you're looking for a club that is going to fix your bad shots, please don't think a piece of technology will do that for you. Get some coaching, do some development on your game, swing, you know, learn how to present the club better to the ball. But if you're looking for a club, maybe you want to change a club because you want to use the latest technology, you want a little bit more help, and also you like the look and feel of it, 100%, it's worth giving a go. But just remember, try it out. Put it up against your own driver. Put it up against the rest of the product that's out available on the market. Get a good custom fit with someone who knows what they're talking about. Make sure you get the right launch, right spin, improve your swing speed. Make sure you present the club to the ball the right way and you'll get a driver that goes further. There is no trickery. There's no smoke and mirrors here. It's all about getting the right product to suit you. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you like the honest review. Please like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do a few more reviews in the next few weeks uh, looking next at Callaway Rogue. So let's see how that performs. Thanks again for watching.